hi welcome now i am going to show you how to solve a lp problem in excel i am going to use solver to solve this problem before that we will see what is the problem the sample problem which i have taken here is uh, stated here Maxi maximize uh, 240x plus uh, 160y uh, due to the constraints that um, uh, x uh, 6x plus 5y less than or equal to 40 200x plus 100y less than or equal to 1000 uh, given x and y are greater than or equal to 0 okay and uh, the main problem always comes here is uh, we have a problem and we also have the solver to solve the problem in excel but before that uh, you must know how to formulate this problem into excel worksheet properly okay that is our step number one okay if you are not uh, uh, interpreting the problem into the excel cells properly then you will have a wrong answer or infeasible solution okay so now uh, what we are going to, we are going to do is we we follow a method uh, a simple method where uh, it's more understandable and at the same time uh, it's a simplified way we can keep in mind that uh, how we will enter the objective function and variables as well as the constraints okay so what I am going to do is I will go uh, show you step by step uh, how to enter this problem into the Excel cells. Okay. First, what I am going to do is what we are going to our uh, uh, find. Okay, we are going to find those variables. This is only their label. Okay, label x, uh, x, and y. If you want, I will make it for the okay. Why this is two things we are going to find x and y. Okay, this is just a labels, and uh, this is not uh, actual values. This field is not uh, actual. Value. This is the variable variable values. Okay, values. So these two values, the solver is going to use these values as well as it is going to change these values and uh, come up with a solution for these two cells. Okay. Initially, I'll put zero and zero. This is the actual cells uh, for the solver to solve. Okay. So uh, I just uh, make it some color here. Okay. I put it. Uh, hello here okay this the cell color we are going to make it uh, uh, this are the two cells we are going to given to the solver to solve okay not these two cells okay these two cells are just for our reading purpose labels okay next what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter once we put uh, the variables to be found what is our thing is to objective function okay objective function okay objective function we are going to uh, interpret here what is the x value is 240 coefficient of x is 240 in objects objective function and 160 for y okay these two coefficients okay what is the actual value this this into coefficient into value of x plus this into value of y enter so this the way uh, this 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 is the way you can interpret the uh, objective function. But uh, the problem here is if you have uh, ten variables or hundreds of variables, how you are going to do this one manually one by one? So instead of doing this, uh, there is a function available which is called sum of products. Just give the coefficient range as well as the variables range 
it will give you the product some pro product first then it will submit up all the products okay similarly now what we are going to do the objective function just make it as it we are going to maximize okay now we are going for constraints constraint one constraint one what is the constraint one what is the coefficient for constraint one six ax six into x plus phi into y what is the value is going to be on the left hand side if you do the same thing with the actual values also the six this into this cell plus coefficient of y into actual value of y okay this the this the left hand side value but what we can use similarly like objective function use the sum product function simply give the range of co coefficients in constraint 1 comma range of va variable values enter ok this is the left hand side value of constraint 1 it has to be less than or equal to what is the right hand side value okay right hand side value is 40 left hand side value the actual value what is going to come okay and now similarly for constraint 2 again 200 for coefficient 100 for y 200 for x 100 for y what is the actual value sum of product of product of this range coefficients and the variable values if you give this way automatically it will respectively it will product then it will add all the sums okay and uh, it has to be what is our thing is right hand side of constraint 2 thousand okay why this is zero zero you no need to worry now because now we put a variable value starting with the seed it's our initial solution we assume we just put zero zero solver will start putting uh, different numbers here automatically those objective function cell values will be changed automatically okay so we put uh, we leave it this one some product and uh, when the solver changes automatically these values will change okay i just uh, okay this is the objective function this is the main value we are going to maximize this whereas we are going to compare we are going to add this two for constraints these two and uh, these two in a different color probably this all for constraints okay this is for right hand side of the 
constraints okay this is maximize the objective function this is the values variables these two for constraints and uh, this is the main objective function okay now we set it all right now we have objective function variables needs to be found it has to be maximized constraint 1 constraint 2 and every constraint what is the left hand side and what is the right hand side value left hand side and right hand side value this is the sum we formulated into excel sheet now we can ready to solve this problem by solver okay now where is the solver okay solver it is go to data you can find uh, there is one group here called analyze it will contain this solver but uh, unfortunately now we don't have solver in this uh, in this ribbon so we need to add a solver where to add file go here option file options in the options you can go and see add-ins in the add-ins you can find solver add-in which is already there what you need to do is you need to add the solver adding go to manage excel add-ins go you can find add-in available tick the solver add-in ok then you can find it's coming here see analyze group solver button is coming here ok what I'm going to do is I just go and open up the solver now okay because uh, the solver already contains some values in the uh, solver parameters so it is telling objective cell must be single cell uh, nothing to worry put okay see it is something in the pre previous example so I just reset all okay this is the solver parameter window okay the solver parameter window what I am going to do is I am going to put the values parameters one by one properly first is objective what is our objective objective values here okay this is the cell objective what is this cell is a sum of product of 240 into x and 160 into y that value actual value okay this the value and what I need to do I need to maximize okay maximize this objective function okay objective function is set now the constraint 6x uh, now the changing variable cells where is the changing variable cells this the variable cells we need to find it x and y values we want a solver to solve these two cells to put up uh, optimized values of x and y okay uh, so this is the two cells we need to select then what are the constraints now add the constraints add uh, where is the constraint we have the constraint here add okay first uh, what is the left hand side value of the constraint it's here less than or equal to is already less than or equal to 40 which is left right hand side value of the constraint is here okay add one constraint added secondly again for the second constraint left hand side value is less than or equal to right hand side value is 1000 which is here okay these two constraints added you no need to worry about a 6x plus 5y because all this is calculated here in these two cells okay now uh, finally we need to non negativity of x and y add x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0 this is this is greater than 0 and 
this cell is also greater than zero for that we can straight away add uh, the range is greater than or equal to zero okay okay so x and y is greater than zero so we set we already set it up all uh, make unconstrained variables non-negative all variables are non-negative we are using a simplex LP okay so simplex method LP linear programming now we had uh, everything set it up uh, we have only uh, time to solve okay we just solve okay I press okay what is happening it started solving and uh, it has given the values already we also need uh, some repost okay okay you can see here 2.5 and 5 oh I didn't uh, select okay just hold on uh, I just solve okay I need the reports select the reports okay okay <laughs> so that we will know the reports okay now you see the variable values are solved by the solver it has given x is equal to 2.5 and y is equal to 5 and our objective value objective function value is it maximize the value to 1400 okay and uh, see both the constant values are achieved left hand side is 40 and the left hand side of constraint 2 is also 1000 okay so now see the report what is there in the report uh, is the original value because we uh, we solved it twice you know so uh, the original value first we we put uh, zero zero so it has to be zero zero but uh, for the report i again uh, run it right so the original value become the same value 2.5 2.5 so you will find the initial values and original values here and the constraints okay and uh, constraint values actual cell values and uh, the x and y values and what is the objective function final value similarly for uh, final values and uh, the report values here right hand side left hand side all and the limit okay so the this lp is solved and uh, for the variables x and y the values are x is equal to 2.5 and the y is 5 okay once you put this uh, uh, this cells more or less they are uh, all those maximize and uh, constraints list you just formulate in this fashion then you will never confuse never be confused later stage uh, how to put uh, constraints objective functions all this just follow this pattern then it will help you to simplify the LP problem and uh, use the solver to solve the problem hope this video is helpful to you I will also try to upload some more examples of LP problems and uh, you can see other videos on uh, TSP problem also and uh, later I'll put assignment problem also uh, so those optimization problems using solver hope this video is helpful to you and uh, see you on next video bye